form of 19-year-old defender Bobby Mann and 21-year-old Ian Downey, who was a member of the Scotland Under-16 squad, which went to the World Youth Cup final in 1980. Queen of the South manager Billy McLaren has obtained SFA clearance for new goalkeeper David Purdy from Air United. But fitness worries keep Pat Kelly and Andy McFarlane on the bench. Downey here and Bingham up front. That's a great effort and a superb goal by Ian Downey. Well, that would have graced any occasion. It's a wonderful goal by Downey. Only his fourth of the season. But showing again the kind of quality which won him international honours as a youngster. That swerved into the top corner and left David Purdy without a chance. Oh, what a magnificent goal it was. 17 minutes gone, Downey taking possession here, checking inside. Saw the opportunity to swerve that and beat David Purdy comprehensively. Heddle controlling things here. Discussion with Winter. And a second for Fulton. David Purdy caught laughing by that superb strike from Ian Heddle. Well, it's a long way out, fully 30 yards. And David Putney got a hand to that, but couldn't get enough behind it to keep it out. Four foot or two in front. And what a great free kick this is by Ian Heddle. In the 20th minute of the match, taking this with his left foot, playing it beyond the wall, and David Putney couldn't get across in time. He challenging well in the air, but it breaks into the space there, setting up another test for the third. Taken brilliantly by Heddle. It is the makings now of a rope for Queen of the South. Well, Ian Heddle going in on his weaker foot to the right to produce that deadly finish. But more good play from Forfar. Scott Coppell's pass, Ian Heddle's finish, and once again, Pony is beaten. Well, only 25 minutes now on the clock. And another fine piece of play in the middle of the field. Coppell's pass opening up the Queen of the South defence for Heddle's finish. That's a good header. Dougie Mills with the finish and Queen of the South snatch one back. Towering header that by Mills. And that may well give Queen of the South the line to midfield for Bryce. Stopped there by Philippin, and the counter attack is on for Forfar. In the gap, it goes to Heddle. This could tie it up for Forfar. It's great goalkeeping, and he's stranded there as the ball is turned in by Downey. Well, David Putney did so well to hold Dean Heddle, but he could do nothing about the reactions of Ian Downey, and the three goal cushion has been restored. There's Coppell's pass, Heddle getting there. Partly made a very good tackle. How about that for an accurate finish from Ian Downey? So we're into time added on. There's no more of that. It's half time here at Station Park. A truly remarkable first half. Dominated by Fortford. Bell is breaking on the left. Good cross. The chance on this time. And Queen of the South has nice the second through Andy Thompson. McPhee's corner reaches Eric Archibald. There's Bingham. And surely now the tie is beyond Queen of the South. Gordon Winter challenge for this kept on going and look at this turn and finish by David Bingham well contentment back on that four for bench of no doubt what a fine goal it was Bingham turning brilliantly there for that here's Andy Thompson now with another chance for Queen of the South and there's a tap for Queen of the South this is quite incredible and Andy Thompson's pace carrying him clear to the four for defence Gordon Arthur exposed, but against his balance and a valiant effort in vain to keep the ball out by Gordon Winter. 
pedal again. No offside here, Coppell on his own. Only the goalkeeper to beat. And it does it effectively. Well, he's a bookmaker to trade, and you wouldn't have bet against him there when he was released by Ian Heddle's pass. Scott Coppell here, look at Heddle's pass, opening up the square between the south defence. The flag stayed down, Coppell stayed himself, looked up and left David Putney once again helpless. Here's Downey. Another chance on here. Clearly so it's exposed, it's Bingham. Oh, that's terrific. Absolutely terrific. David Bingham second of the match. And a real collector's piece. Well, Ian Downey set him up. Clearly so it's pushing forward in their time. Look at this chip. Now that would grace any occasion. Medal again. Three against two. Now Downey, he's the chance for the hat trick. And he's taken out there by Putney. It is indeed a penalty kick. And now the arguments among those three players can begin. Downey, Heddle, and Bingham will all want to take this. And there's no mistake there. David Bingham celebrating a hat trick in the second half. Martindale brings the match to an end. Far, far to go through to the second round with the most convincing display.